this is Nico from Unicorn Riot, and and we have on 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 the line uh, somebody who's in the block in the Netherlands. And can you can you say who you are and and where you are and, and what's going on right now? Yes, I'm I'm Nico, and I'm uh, inside uh, the Vluk. Uh, the Vluk is a is a squatted building. It's squatted uh, 13 years ago, and uh, yeah, it's it's grown to one of the biggest social centers in the Netherlands. And uh, yeah, at the moment we are threatened with eviction, and uh, we uh, unfortunately we lost a couple of court cases about that. So uh, we're now barricaded in, and uh, yeah, the police can uh, can come any minute. And and so right now, as we speak, you are barricaded in the social center, and the police you're under threat of eviction to where the police can come at any minute. Is that is that's what you're saying? Uh, yes, yes. From last Monday, the, uh, the the court says that uh, they can evict us from last Monday. So from that time on, we are on uh, on, on threat of eviction. So from that time on, we are uh, totally barricaded in. We weld uh, all the windows are welded with steel, and uh, uh, yeah, we made uh, some other trick, make the police hard. And uh, yeah, we're waiting now, so they can come any minute. But uh, for now on, it's still uh, quiet. Can you speak on um, what the uh, the center, the social center of the Vluk is? And I also understand that you have recently declared yourself independent. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, uh, I, I will tell a, a short bit about the history of the Vluk. Thirteen years ago, we spotted it, and, and we have all uh, sorts of initiatives, uh, social initiatives. So we have like. A, we built a concert room here for concerts and for a theater plays and, and political uh, uh, meetings and stuff. Uh, and, and people, if they have an idea, they can come to us. And, and so there's a place for people to organize. And the most important thing is that it's uh, all not about money, it's, it's, but it's more about the ideas that people have and the initiatives where they're busy with. And uh, the last year we had a, a campaign uh, against the demolishing of the building because uh, we are in the harbor, and they want here to build a new uh, sailing center here. Uh, but we think the the plan for that is totally ridiculous. Because uh, in the same street where, uh, where are we, uh, there is a, already a sailing center uh, built it five years ago, and it's still empty. So there's no and there's no need for an, another uh, sailing center. So uh, for more than a year, we make action campaign against this plant and, and the whole harbor is uh, uh, has the problem of gentrification there was lots of yuppie projects and all the uh, people that live here in the harbor mostly poor people get pushed out of out of the neighborhood so we thought it was really important to make an action campaign against this uh, so there was lots of attention and uh, also the local government was in a few times in crisis because of this uh, issue um, but unfortunately, yeah, we're now in a situation that we can be evicted. Can you expound upon um, the ideas that you were talking about, people coming, people sharing, building a community, um, sort of using, uh, it sounded like re reciprocity within the free space. Can you speak upon that a little bit and, and why um, it's really important to, for, for you guys to uh, declare yourselves autonomous zone in that realm? Well, well the, the space itself is really important for lots of people and lots of uh, activist groups as well. So lots of anti-racist groups have places here and stuff like this. Uh, and, and it's also important that uh, uh, we have an idea that uh, we're better off without capitalism. But in the meanwhile, we also want to experiment with how to uh, how to uh, make a different society. And we do that in a, in a small uh, uh, yeah, in a small way, we we try to already uh, accomplish that here, and yeah, because uh, we think that the municipality and uh, is just driven by uh, uh, yeah, but by big co uh, big companies that want to build here. There have their uh, uh, yeah, they get all the space from the municipality to do whatever they want to demolish spaces like this, but also push out poor people out of their neighborhoods to to build yuppie apartments, etc. So, yeah, the only, the only thing we thought what we can do is, is to declare uh, our self-independence. Uh, yeah, because uh, 
that there it, it's really hard for for people uh, from the lower class and and, and stuff to to get taken seriously so we we, we felt that we can as a last step uh, after losing the court cases and, and uh, we thought this was the best way to do it they come in and they're giving you you got you all warnings or are they just come in and they're, and they're not trying to speak to anybody and then they're just um, you, you expect them to just kick down the door uh, the, the thing was that yesterday we put up a burning barricades in the street and uh, also people from the neighborhood joined in because there's lots of support here uh, from the neighborhood. And uh, but uh, and the police came a couple of times into the streets, but they get uh, paint bombed. And after that, now it's uh, for two days, it's pre- for one and a half days, it's pretty quiet. The police doesn't show up anymore here in the street. So what we expect is that they come with a with a big uh, big amount of riot cops, uh, water cannon, uh, stuff like this. Helicopters to to uh, just at once uh, try to uh, uh, to overrule us and, and and get us out of the building. Put you outside uh, uh, is is up to them, but for inside, um, uh, yeah, of course it's really hard to to for, to to defend a space like this uh, uh, against a, a big state and uh, and uh, lots of police repression. What we faced the last time, so uh, yeah, we we uh, barricade ourselves in. We we thought of tactics. What I can't tell now uh, to to really make it hard for them to come in and get people out. Um, and uh, but in, yeah, in the end, uh, um, it's it, it's probably we, we will lose it. But we want to we want to make a really clear statement that it's that the the municipality. Uh, uh, now is there only for big companies and stuff like that mm-hmm. for yuppie projects but in the end it should be about people and it should be, it should be about uh, the initiatives that people take uh, without without any uh, subsidies or whatever uh, and and that what, what what the people from below do that makes the city and not uh, not the development through the eyes of the municipality in in yuppie projects and that is what we try to uh, get out everywhere, the whole campaign, action campaign. And this is something we still stand for. And we want to uh, uh, bring this to the public uh, till the last moment we can. When it, comes to, when it comes to defending the zone, what other tactics, if you, if you, if you feel like expounding upon them, what other tactics are, are, are used that, that are able to be, you know, um, defending your area? Well, it, 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 it's different tactics, but I only can talk for the people who are inside. Mm-hmm. Uh, what people do outside uh, uh, is, is up to them, but for inside... Um, uh, yeah, of course, it's really hard to to to, to defend a space like this uh, uh, against a, a big state and uh, and uh, lots of police repression, what we faced the last time. So uh, yeah, we we uh, barricade ourselves in. We we thought of tactics. What I can't tell now uh, to to really make it hard for them to come in and get people out. Um, and uh, but in, yeah, in the end. Uh, um, it, it's, it's probably we, we will lose it, but we want to we want to make a really clear statement that it's that the the municipality uh, uh, now is there only for big companies and stuff like that mm-hmm. for yuppie projects, but in the end it should be about people and it should be, it should be about uh, the initiatives that people take uh, without without any uh, subsidies or whatever. Uh, and and that what, what what the people from below do that makes the city, and not uh, not the development through the eyes of the municipality in in yuppie projects, and that is what we try to uh, get out everywhere the whole campaign action campaign, and this is something we still stand for and we want to uh, 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 bring this to the public uh, till the last moment we can. Yeah, thank you. Well, thank you for the for the whole interview, for the questions, and for the answers. Um, can you talk a little bit more about where uh, people can find you? I, I see that you have a Twitter. Um, how people can learn about what's going on and the next steps that are happening with the Vluk? 
So yeah, uh, you can. Uh, we have a website, and we you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook. If you search for the Vlook uh, and the Vlook uh, you can find uh, all the information. And uh, yeah, the, the, it can be that in uh, in a few hours the, the cops will be in front of the door. It can take a few more days. We don't know. Uh, but you can. We try to. Uh, yeah get people the latest information through social media. So uh, if you want to follow that, you can check us out there. Is there anything else you would like to say um, as you're sitting there barricaded inside the social center of the Vluk, um, mo- maybe moments away from police uh, coming in the doors any second? Is there anything else you would like to say? Yeah, I, I think that, that lots of um, in everywhere in the world, people have uh, it's a big problem with gentrification, and and uh, I think it's really important to fight this. And I want to do a shout out to all the other people fighting gentrification everywhere uh, around the world. And solidarity to them, and uh, let's uh, join for a big struggle.